Hey y'all, Edward the Lego Texan here with another holiday speed build for you. Today we're building set 75366, the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. I've been looking forward to this and I've actually got two others that we're going to do on this channel too. Um, I've built Advent Calendars in the past for other product lines, but I've never done a Lego one before, so this should be interesting if the minifigures that are on the box and the builds that are on the box are what's in here. I think it's going to be really awesome uh, time doing this as well as the others too. So let's get to it.
Hey y'all, welcome back to my review of the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. And uh, I'm not gonna go over every single little mini build in this set. I'm gonna touch on a few of the of my personal favorites in this. Uh, no ran no particular order, but you know, I liked this one. The inclusion of Mando's N1 Starfighter is actually really cool as a mini build. I enjoyed that. And I know that the full-size Lego Justifier was kind of a mixed bag of reviews and receiving from the Lego community. Um, I like this in micro scale form. Looks really cool. Um, I, overall, I like in this set how they're um, the mixture of, you know, stuff from Return of the Jedi and from the Clone Wars, both are both of which are celebrating anniversaries this year. Um, uh, Return of the Jedi, it's uh, 40th and Clone Wars is 20th, I believe, this year. Uh, so that is nice receiving a mixture of those items. Um, as far as the minifigure selection goes, you know, there's some generic stuff here. You know, there's a Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi in here. Um, a standard battle droid and a clone trooper. A um, couple other ones that were kind of cool to get. Uh, I, now, I'm going to be honest, as much of a Star Wars fan as I am, I still have not caught up on watching all of my Star Wars. So I actually had to look up who this was, I found out Omega from The Bad Batch, which we haven't gotten to watching yet. We're still watching The Clone Wars. Um, but it was really nice getting a Christmas themed Ewok. That was pretty cool. And I think what makes the set for me is the Emperor in the Holiday Jumper. Uh, this is pretty cool. And the throne was actually a separate mini build, which I appreciate that too. I think of all the counters I've built this year, and I built Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Marvel this year, I believe this one was the most consistent, you know, and that's not to say that, you know, there were some awkward or interesting builds in this, uh, but overall, I like the selection of builds they had in this. Um, the the speeder that the droids uh, fly on, I like this one. It's a really, really cool standalone little display piece. The micro builds, the Imperial shuttle, and as I mentioned, the N1 Starfighter and the Justifier are both pretty cool to have too. Um, so honestly, now that I've built all three of them and you're going to hear my reviews in the other videos, um, I believe Star Wars was probably the strongest of the three. And of course, this is my opinion. You know, everyone's got their own feelings about the different calendars. Uh, I felt Star Wars was this year was the strongest. Um, had good two very good tie-ins uh, for, for the builds this year. So that led, probably led a lot to this this year. Um, so... Anyway, so that actually concludes my review of the Star Wars Advent Calendar. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, uh, following along. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already for further content. And keep on building. Bye.